1985, Ross Store Clothing Shop. Suddenly, there was a flash, a loud bang, and concrete flying everywhere. The asphalt literally swelled up and then burst. 23 people were injured. The cause was methane that had seeped from the underground into the basement. All it took was one spark, from the elevator to a live outlet, and everything blew up. The source was an old well, drilled back in 1902. No one knew about it. No documents remained. No one was held responsible. There are thousands like this, all over California, all over America. They can be found on a special interactive map called Wellfinder on the California Department of Conservation website, but often their location is unknown. Such wells can be hidden under schools, stores, and parks. Sometimes they're found by accident during construction work, sometimes after a tragedy. They're called orphan wells. They have no owner, which means no one is responsible for methane or chemical leaks. But there are not only forgotten wells underground, there's a whole system connected to active ones. These are pipes, tanks, valves, they pump, filter, and transport further. This entire network is like a circulatory system, only with oil instead of blood. It's everywhere, intersections, neighborhoods, schoolyards, everything is filled with oil veins. But you can't see them. If there's a leak somewhere, part of the city could explode. Another American nightmare comes to mind, the town of Centralia in Pennsylvania. In 1962, coal caught fire underground there. More than half a century has passed, and it's still smoldering. The houses are empty, the roads are distorted, and the ground is collapsing. A man-made hell. Could something similar happen because of oil? It's not impossible. But at the moment, there's another problem, and it's currently more significant and real. The main threat is not even a loud explosion, but quiet, daily killing. A cocktail of toxins rises from the underground along with oil and gas. Methane displaces oxygen. The head spins, the heart races, and a person can lose consciousness. But benzene is even more dangerous. It's a carcinogenic and destroys bone marrow, causing anemia and leukemia, especially in children. There's also hydrogen sulfide, a gas that smells like rotten eggs. Inhaling it is like slowly switching off your brain. The smell of oil and gasoline is psychoactive. It stimulates the brain's dopamine system. It gives a brief rush of pleasure. That's why many people like it just as people like the smell of marker pins or acetone. It causes mild excitement, and that only makes it more absurd. We can live surrounded by oil pipes, inhale a smell that excites us, and don't even realize how dangerous it is. And these are not fantasies, but statistics. In Los Angeles, for example, the rate of cancer among children is higher than in the cleaner Riverside County. But even that's not all. 